Hey yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Path of a Samurai. It's kind of a mini Blood Samurai 2 series where we are trying to collect every single armor and stance in the game at least once and then at the end we will try and get our ultimate build, getting all of our racial abilities, you know, switching up our race, getting some new stances. We'll see what we can do to, you know, build the best build as possible all from scratch on this brand new account so a recap from the last episode we did some assassination missions to unlock the offensive stance as well as this armor right here i forgot the exact name of the armor but this is a helmet if it gives you a better understanding of which armor this actually is and yeah we're gonna try and get one more stance a different stance and a different armor by the end of this episode right here so yeah it would mean a lot if you guys could smash this like buttons to make sure we get another episode out so 300 likes if you guys want episode 3 of this so yeah go and smash that like button let's go ahead and start this video God. all right guys so we went ahead and joined a new server and why not start off the video by just going ahead and completing one thing off our checklist by getting this thing right here. Uh, this dude, we just gotta get his flower and then we get a pretty cool sword, which I like. So might as well just knock this out. Uh, we have to search for the flower and it's around the area. What many people confuse with this flower right here, they're like, oh, I went to the exact location and how comes it's not there? Guys, it's not ever gonna be there. I had to read it twice myself because he said it's in the area and it's not actually gonna be there. So I'm pretty sure once you come down here, you're gonna come right here and it's not there. But I can't see it. Yeah, you're not gonna be seeing it. See, he's a perfect example. It's in the area. Uh, let me let me help this dude out. Let me help him out. It's here. Let me help him out. Come on. All right, he found it. I think he found it. Did he find it, guys? Yeah, it looks like he picked it up. All right, we helped the boy out. He got his flower, and now he can get the cool sword. All right, he said thank you so much. Hey, we helped someone out this video, so let's just go and see if we can go ahead and complete this mission so that we can get the cool sword because this sword right here i don't really don't like it it's too basic it's the basic old way which you know some people may enjoy but i really do enjoy the other one and because it's customizable as well even though we don't have any robux on this account i just like the you know the handle the shape whatever and i feel like it's a lot longer as well just like cosmetic let's go ahead and thing It'd be cool if we could actually get his sword, because his sword is actually unique as well. He has, like, some bands around it. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, the sword is a lot longer. It looks a lot thicker, but I don't think it changes anything, actually, to, like, you know, the sword here doesn't give you any buffs or anything. It's just, like, the handle right there. It's, like, a kind of a square, if you get what I'm saying. But, yeah. All right, guys, I'm pretty sure it's mission time right now, and it's time to do some assassination missions for my boy, Hitman Hagoshi. This time, he is not facing the floor like last episode. And okay, so we have to assassinate a target. All right, so our target is all the way over here. I'm not too sure if he's AFK. Most people in this game are kind of AFK. All right, you know what? I guess I'll take it because we do need that money to get that armor. And I feel like after this kill, we will actually be able to get our armor. Uh, let's see if we can just tap him to wake him up. All right, you know what? We'll take the free kill. We'll take the free kill. Why not? The server is actually quite a bit laggy as well. So I'm not even too sure if we'd be able to win the fight normally. But, uh, you know, don't AFK in Blood Samurai 2. This is a prime example of what will happen if you AFK in Blood Samurai 2. All right, so we got another 250, which is perfect. We can go ahead and get this armor right here, the one that everyone else has. And uh, everyone else is in the two dudes at the front of the village that just stand there endlessly. And most of the NPCs in this game actually do have that armor for some reason. I, I swear if we go over here, we'll find at least one more NPC wearing that armor. Yep, as I said, actually two more. They're all wearing this armor. There must be something good about it. So we're going to go ahead and get that actually. Hold on, defense. Okay, we'll go ahead and get the Samurai Elite armor. We just got this brand new armor, as you guys can see. So now we have got two armors off our checklist, and that's perfect. Now we just got to do a little bit more missions. Um, I'm not too sure. I can't even run in the server. I might have to server hop real quick. Oh, no. We're going to get jumped. All right. We got jumped. Oh, he has, he has cast and everything. Talk about lag. Talk about lag. It's all right. A little bit of lag never hurts anyone. Okay. He's popping his mode. This is going to be mad news. He gets a damage buff as well as regen, so we're going to have to rush him to make sure he doesn't get any of that juicy regen. Alright, we broke his sword. Okay, he's kind of piecing us up right here. Alright. 
Offensive stands for the win. All right, your boy Noob Sprays is beating up the Shokan. His damage buff is insane. All right. Oh, what? Incantation at the last second. Oh, no. Oh, man. Okay, we did end up losing. Uh, the incantation. I forgot about incantations. We should have finished them off while we had the chance. Ah, oh, man. Okay. But, uh, anyways, I'm not too sure if I'm going to stay in the server because of how laggy it is. Even though, you know, it, I, I am doing pretty fine. I'm doing pretty well on my own with this lag. I might switch just for, you know, content recording purposes. Nobody wants to see people, like, teleporting and, like, flying during the recording. So, let me go ahead and switch this up real quick. Alright guys, we are in a brand new server and the ping in this server seems a lot better But for some reason we still can't run. This is the animation that I get when I run It just looks like I'm speed walking like an old person So but I guess we're gonna have to deal with it and as you guys can see it is taking my stamina as you as you can see But I feel like we are still moving the same speed as sprinting just without the animation I guess it's all right. There's no there's no big deal about it as long as we're moving the same speed Okay, so our target here is gonna be a little bit far but uh, he is moving, which is good. That means he is alive and he is awake and he is ready to get killed by your boy Sprays. He's just chilling out there until we get to him. Okay, it looks like he has a friend, so this might be difficult. We're gonna... Oh, uh, it's a Krampus as well. Okay. We're gonna have to see what we can do. Oh, and he has the crane stance. All right. All right, so I guess... Okay. Boom. Thank you for attacking your friend. I'm going to have to play. We're going to play ping pong with him. Okay. Why is he attacking his friend? Wait. Is he betraying him? He just betrayed him. I thought. What? Oh, okay. Okay. I thought. I thought it was going to be the other way around. I thought he was about to jump me for beating up his friend. But instead, he just beat up the friend as well okay that makes no sense but uh, you know i'll take it no need to complain there no need to complain at all i'm not too sure on which stance i'm gonna be going out for right now i'm not too sure but we'll see i'm pretty sure the phoenix stance is actually free and you know since we are doing the path of the samurai there is no private servers allowed so we're gonna go ahead and see if we can uh, find that i think it's 2500 actually <laughs> what am i mean free the actually the armor upgrade is free and stances are a lot more expensive than um than a normal thing. So you know what? I think we're gonna have to go and you know do some more missions and whatnot. And we'll be back. You know I'll speed it up for you guys when we are done. All right, guys, we got our target located in sight. He's right in front of us, and it looks like we both have the same animation glitch, so we're just speed walking away from each other. But uh, he has the same. He has a sword. I don't know why he's not taking it out. It's time to fight. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my friend. I need money. I'm sorry. I'm looking for friend. I'm sorry, but I cannot be your friend because I choose money and not friend. Oh man, I feel bad. But uh you signed up for the blood you signed up for the samurai life. And this is a part of being a samurai. I know sometimes in life you do nothing wrong, but you know, some people just need money. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we'll need to do one more mission before we can get another stance. I'm not too sure if this will be our last mission or not. Uh, I think our target is over there. I think this is actually an AFK target, so this should be pretty easy. All right, so let's just speed through this so we can go ahead and get the stance. I'm crossing my fingers. It's only 1,000.
all right guys i think we have finished this i think we have finally been able to get enough money to get a stance we're gonna go ahead and try and get the kappa stance i forgot how much that one is actually and i forgot all the stances in the game i'm gonna actually get a list of them but i think there's the reverse stance there's you know that one there's a double bladed one some of them are boss drops which we will be having to do we'll be having to do all the boss drops and those are going to be in videos as well so make sure you guys stay tuned so we could uh, you guys could actually watch me do the boss drops through the episodes and whatnot and i'm probably going to be soloing them and trying my best to get you know find a way to just solo all the bosses by myself in order to get them but if i do need some help you know i will end up grabbing some help but i think the next video we are going to be trying to get that crane stance because i love the crane stance it's one of my favorite stances and yeah let's just go up and get this brand oh wait where are we going i forgot that we're supposed to be heading this way to actually get the kappa stance uh, i'm just gonna get the kappa stance and get this one out of the way you're not a kappa but for 1000 all right we got the kappa stance so we just got one brand new stance and one brand new armor out of the way uh let's go ahead and you know what just for jokes let's just for fun let's go ahead and test out the kappa stance what's the point of getting it in the video if we're not going to test it out and see how we like it and i'll let you guys know my opinion on the kappa stance once more of me actually using it you know on a fresh account no help needed on this account so yeah let's just go ahead and fight this raijin dude he looks pretty stacked out yeah he looks pretty stacked out looks like he has his racial abilities and whatnot just judging by his armor his armor is one of the best armors in the game, but at the same time, no armor is the best armor in the game anymore after they did the balances and whatnot. Oh, here he is. Oh, this is the dude that was AFK, so you know what? He might he might even get his revenge on us. Alright, he just sat down. There he is. He got, he got up. He got up. He means business. Alright, boom. No, your Raijin dodges are nothing compared to me. Your boy sprays the noob. Okay, he popped casts. I think we will we will have to start training for our cast because Oh, the Kappa stance is actually not that bad. What did he say? He said noob. He just called me a noob. Hey, I'll show you what a noob is. I'll show you what a noob is. Come here. Come here. You're just gonna meditate? Yeah, I'm not gonna let you get away with that. You just called me a noob. Come here. What do you mean, noob? You're the noob. Oh, actually, maybe I might be the noob. Those rising dodges. All right. Actually, your boy sprays is not the noob. I don't care how much durability this dude has. We got to kill him. He called us a noob. We can't let him get away with that. Okay. Oh, no. We, we might have made a mistake. Oh, man. This is an intense battle. Intense. Intense. All right, boom. All right, knock him there. 1v1 intensifies. Oh my gosh. All right, those Raijin dodges are so unpredictable. Especially. All right, knock him there. We're just knocking him around. All right. Oh my gosh. Talk about knockback. All right, he should be pretty low. He's bleeding now, guys. He's bleeding. I think this means it's a win for us. Oh, what is he saying? You're bad for a Raijin. No, and he called us a noob. I mean, uh, uh, that's a little bit toxic when someone's losing. You know, you're just knocking them down. Oh, he, he tried to, he tried to, uh, he's, he's trying to knock us off. He's trying to play up there. All right, we're going to have to go around from the other side or something. All right, there we go. We got up. All right. Oh, he left. He left. Uh, he left. He knew. And he thought I was a noob. He was calling me a noob to begin with. But that's pretty much going to be it for today's video. All right. You know what? We'll just accept the L. Thank you guys so much for making it to the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And, you know, hit that like button because we are trying to get to 300 likes. And, yes, I would love to be seeing you guys in the next video or the next episode of The Path of the Samurai to see us collect the next armor and the next stance.